how we can calculate portfolio risk. Uh, in uh, basically uh, books, uh, you have seen number of formulas. Uh, now about uh, uh, first formula uh, where I should not be equal to J. Uh, we can use this formula or we have uh, its simplified form uh, like this one uh, where we have double summation, then WI multiplied by WJ and that is multiplied by covariance between uh, I and J. And we have also uh, the second formula as well uh, where uh, we put the value of covariance between IJ and uh, that is equal, equal to uh, basically sigma 1, sigma 2 and R12. If we have, for example, two asset portfolio and if we have uh, an asset portfolio, then definitely we have this sigma I into sigma J and correlation between I comma J. Uh, now in first formula, we use covariance and second formula, uh, we use basically correlation coefficient. And now uh, if we open uh, these uh, formulas, for example, if we have a two asset portfolio, uh, it becomes like sigma one square sigma, uh, sorry, W1 into sigma one square plus W2 into sigma two square plus two into W1 into W2 and covariance between one and two. And the same way, if we want to use correlation coefficient, the first two terms are same. The only the third term is changed. That is uh, two into W1, W2 into sigma one into sigma two. Uh, multiplied by R12. In the same way, we can open it for the three asset portfolio. Uh, no, it is some uh, type uh, lengthy formula. And just uh, uh, imagine if you have, for example, four assets, then we should have 16 terms. And if we have 10 assets in our portfolio, uh, we should have 100 terms. And just imagine that how we can calculate it manually. Uh, now, when we have uh, large assets in our portfolio, say 30, 50, uh, then use uh, matrices. Uh, for matrices, uh, we should know some basic rules of matrices. Uh, luckily, in Excel, uh, we have matrices uh, functions, and that is uh, the first one is M mult. Uh, that is uh, matrix multiplication function, and there is a rule that. Uh, uh, number of columns of first matrix should be equal to number of rows of second matrix. Uh, if we want to apply uh, the concept of matrices uh, uh, while calculating a portfolio risk, uh, then we should uh, use this formula that is weight transpose multiplied by variance covariance matrix, matrix and that is multiplied by weights again. Uh, now, uh, how we can get uh, this variance covariance matrix like here uh, we have variance covariance matrix for two asset portfolio uh, diagonally we have variances and off diagonally uh, we have covariances that's why it is called variance covariance matrix uh, how we can get this variance covariance matrix i will explain in my next video uh, now let's start uh, by using live data uh, here uh, is a format that uh, first uh, we will take uh, let's say seven months data the first observation uh, would be used for calculation purpose again we would use a stock history function and for example we have a visa symbol uh, select this one and then start it uh, lock it with the help of f4 key and then uh, we have end date again lock it and then we have uh, we want to use monthly data then press 2 uh, we need no header and we want only closing price and just close it and press enter so here we have the prices of visa corporation just uh, copy it to the next cell now we have four prices uh, to calculate uh, return we use log function uh, here we have ln function and then ending price divided by beginning price. Uh, just uh, copy it to the next cell and then drag it down. So we have monthly uh, returns of uh, each stock. And now uh, because uh, to calculate uh, risk of portfolio, uh, we need variance, trend deviation, covariance, correlation uh, as we want to uh, use three different formulas. Now for variance, we will use this variance function. 
then first standard deviation std population function and just copy it to the next cell for second asset we have variance as well as standard deviation uh, for covariance function we would use covariance population function uh, as covariance is symmetrical so we use only covariance between one and two if you want to calculate covariance between two and one you will get the same answer uh, in the same way uh, correlation coefficient are also symmetrical to calculate correlation coefficient we use correl function of excel first range and then second range I will apply it again, coral function. Now, first range, comma, second range. Correlation between one and two and two and one uh, would be the same answer. Uh, now, uh, in first formula, we have this first term, that is sigma one, W1, 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 W1 sigma one square, then second term W2 sigma two square, this one, and then third term, it is basically a multiplication of uh, four items, two into W1, W2, and uh, covariance between one and two. Uh, now, here I have already the formulas. I'm just deleting those formulas. Now, the first one, equal to w1 this is our weights plasma we are using equal weights and i have made summary here as well and uh, multiplied by sigma one square so w1 multiplied by sigma one whole square it will give you sigma one square multiplied by sigma two square and uh, now just copy it down now here you can see that we need now w2 into sigma 2 square and just we have copied it down and now we need third term equal to 2 uh, multiplied by sigma 1 this is our sigma 1 multiplied by sigma 2 and then multiplied by covariance between 1 and 2 Now here you can see that, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I will repeat it again. Uh, two multiplied by W1 multiplied by W2 and multiplied by covariance between one and two. Uh, now uh, after calculating this, uh, three terms means W1 sigma one square, W2 sigma two square, plus two W1, W2 and covariance between one and two, then we will have to sum it. So just sum it. And then after summing, uh, we will take its square root power 0.5. So this is basically uh, risk of portfolio. Now in second formula, uh, we have additional two terms. Uh, that is uh, this one, two into W1, W2, sigma one, sigma two, and correlation between one and two. The first two terms are same. So just I am using these two first term again the same and just for third term I want to use product function. You can use multiplication function as well uh, means multiplication symbol. Now for product we have first two then we have W1 then W2 then we have sigma 1 then sigma 2 and lastly correlation coefficient and just close it again you can see that we have the same answer as it was in our first method now in the second method uh, we have the same method uh, sorry uh, same answer now the third one that is uh, by using uh, matrix multiplication function now look at first this formula we have weight transpose and then variance covariance matrix and then w for variance covariance matrix i have already uh, uh, done it for you mean first this is variance then variance of second asset then covariance between 
one and two, this one, and then covariance between two and one, the same answer. Now, we need this one, so it means that uh, we will use two MMULT function. The first one, MMULT, the second one, MMULT, then transpose, transpose our weights, and then it is multiplied by variance covariance matrix. And that is multiplied by weights again. Now, after typing the formula uh, for older version, uh, we press shift control and enter key. And for latest version, just you can press enter key. Now, shift control enter. Uh, you can see that uh, we have the same answer uh, for three different methods. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, in the next video, uh, we will learn that uh, how we can get this uh, variance covariance matrix uh, in different methods. Uh, thank you very much.